Now we're going to work on our first attempt to connect to the um, Google Analytics dashboard by sending a communication request. So how do we do this? First of all, select your UI manager script and just double click on it. That's the one that has the Google Analytics object. So make sure you see the Google Analytics object here. Now go inside of the start. And what we want to do is that whenever this menu loads, we want to send a message to Google Analytics saying, hi, there's a new user that just launched the game. All right, so what we're gonna do here is say Google Analytics. So we're calling the object that we created here and we're going to do dot start session, all right? Uppercase S, uppercase S for session. So two uppercases, open and close the parentheses and add a semicolon at the end. Now that starts the session and now let's send um, the, the, the log so that we log the screen that's sent so go google analytics dot log and here we want to log the screen okay so uppercase l uppercase uppercase s and let's give it a, a name so we need a title for that screen i'm going to call this one main menu screen all right or just main menu it's up to you but i'm just adding screen so that we know that it's the screen or, or level it's up to you here all right and save this file save now go back to Unity, and once you're in Unity, click play. Once you do that, go to the console to see what's going on. Now you may have some stuff that says Sumla errors, that's normal, these are in-app purchases stuff, and you cannot uh, do in-app purchases in the simulator. So just click on clear, so that you have a clear symbol. Now what we want to do is send the data whenever somebody presses the play button, all right? And that's what we're going to be doing now. Let's go back to um, you need to the the, uh, the mono develop and inside of the item that says start game right here we're going to say Google Analytics v4 I'm sorry Google Analytics that's the uh, the actual object dot log screen and the screen that we're going to log is the title name and that would be um, let's say um, start game all right now go ahead and save this and go back to unity press play clear the console and now let's press play and look what happens All right, as soon as I press play, it launched the game. Let me pause this. It launched the game, so far so good. But look what it says. It says in the console, there's two errors and some warnings. It says, no tracking code set for other platforms. So we cannot send the information because we don't have a tracking code for other platforms. And then it says that the object reference is null on the line 36 of the UI manager script. So let's click on this line. And it says that it cannot start the session and it cannot log the screen. Why can't it do that? Reason why is that it cannot connect to the um, Google Analytics platform. And the reason why is that this is not iOS or Android. This is Unity in interface. So this is other platform. How do you fix that? It's pretty simple. Go to the GAV4 prefab and that you have, you may have an instance here and under other tracking code, add a new one or just copy this one. All right, that's how you'll do. Take any of these. I'm gonna take the Android just for the sake of learning and I'm gonna paste it here. All right, copy and paste it here. Now apply this so that the prefab has that as well and now clear. So go ahead and clear the console. Now press play and clear the console again and now we're going to press the play button and see what's going to happen all right so i'm pressing play and now it says object reference not set to an instance of an object and then it says google analytics is set okay so it took some time to set but now we do have it it's initializing the code and let's double check if this actually worked or not so you should already know if you go to your web browser and 
go to the analytics.google.com, make sure you select your Captain Rocket demo for the Android. So that's the one we used because this contains the code for Android. How do I know that? Because under Unity, we said other tracking code and we use the one for Android. Now feel free to add the third one here. And whenever you look at the data, you want to go to the reporting section. So click on reporting. And then since we just sent the data today, you might not see it in the past. So it might not appear here because it takes sometimes one day for the data to appear. However, if you really want to see the data that you just sent, you have to go to real time and then overview. All right. And as you can see, it says that right now there's one active user. It's myself using a desktop. So it actually knows that I'm on the desktop and not on a, a phone, Android or iOS. And it also knows where I'm from. Yes, I am from Miami and uh, this is where I'm from, Sonia's. It's actually close, but not uh, good enough. And then it also shows you what I've just done. It says that I clicked on start game for, and that's the screen that I've been using. How does it know? that I clicked on start game and it says that there's been only one user that clicked on start game. It knows that because if you go to the um, mono develop script, the uh, UI manager, we say that we clicked on start game right here. Okay. You guys, you guys remember that whenever we had the start game, we added start game. So let me look for it or just do comment F start game. There it is. Whenever the user clicked on start game, which is the play button, and we did do that, it sent a lock screen start game. All right, so, uh, so far so good. If you can get to this, then you have the whole connection to the dashboard. And at this point, the rest is gonna be very smooth, okay? So make sure you have that. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me in the forums. I'm always here to help. This is the most important step, okay? Make sure that you have the connection.